on most road trips, uh, people will probably stay in a hotel or a motel like Holiday Inn or Howard Johnson or maybe even a Motel 6, but <coughs> it's not likely to stop at the Ritz-Carlton when you're just passing through. The landmark Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Boston opened just two years before Irving Berlin would compose the song putting on the Ritz. The hotel was originally supposed to be an apartment building, but the mayor of Boston called the building owner and convinced him to make it a star quality, high class hotel. The Ritz Carlton was so elite, it was one of the very few places that required a dress code of all their guests, hence the term, putting on the Ritz. In 1930, the film Putting on the Ritz premiered with a song of the same name, composed, of course, by Irving Berlin, who at the time was at the top of his game. Interestingly enough, at the age of 101 in 1989, a version of Irving Berlin's Putting on the Ritz was in the top 10 again, making him the oldest songwriter in history with a top 10 hit, still at the top of his game. Putting on the Ritz was used in at least three other movies besides Putting on the Ritz. Idiot's Delight, starring Clark Gable in 1939, Blue Skies, starring Fred Astaire in 1946, and in 1974, it was used in Young Frankenstein, where it was sung by Gene Wilder and sort of sung by Peter Boyle as the monster. Super duper. Thank <laughs> you.